Hey Internet, I am currently on a self-appointed quest to try to do as much as humanly possible in Chapter 2. Um, I just get a kick out of trying to do stuff that you're not technically supposed to be able to do in video games. Um, so I figured I'd make a video about a method I came up with to catch all the legendary fish, specifically the new Austin legendary fish, using a buggy for cover. I know this video is pretty long. I tried to include a lot of useful information, but I also went ahead and made a short version. It's a little under four minutes. It's a lot more entertaining. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Go ahead and watch that if you want and see if it's something you even want to attempt. Uh, I threw this montage in there too of all the regular legendary fish locations just in case you got directed here just looking for those or if you need a refresher. Anyway, here I am with my buggy down here in New Austin, my sniper block and buggy. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the buggy method of getting into New Austin, I definitely recommend researching that first. Maybe try it out a few times. It can take a minute to get comfortable with using it. Uh, basically, all you do is use the canvas part of the buggy as a cover to block the sniper fire from hitting your head. Um, also, I'm aware that there's an Angelo Bronte mission glitch in Chapter 4. Um, I personally love Chapter 2. I've been pushing myself to see how much I can actually do in Chapter 2. So if you're like me and you want to stay in chapter two or three, uh, or if the Bronte mission gets patched, then this is at least an alternative. So yeah, so I'm down here, New Austin. This is the large mouth bass, legendary large mouth bass spot. Uh, came down here, pulled out my fishing pole. Noticed he spawned, not only did he spawn, but he was the only fish that spawned, which is nice. Um, and I thought about it and I was thinking, well, yeah, there's no way I'm going to cast out from here. Um, so I need to figure out a way to block the fire while I'm actually fishing. I tried a bunch of stuff. I tried waiting to see if he would beach himself. I tried going over to New Mexico and fishing from there. Nothing worked. So I went ahead and did a little research and figured, well, I might as well start on the smaller fish because there's a uh, small fish in New Austin too because this one you have to stow on your horse. Uh, which is a whole nother challenge. So this is his location. This is the redfin pickerel over at Stillwater Creek. So normally when you fish, the camera's kind of over your right shoulder, which is fine, but then when you catch the fish, it does this. It swivels over. That'll get you shot every time. Uh, so I had to figure out a way around that. So I figured out that if you switch to first person at the last second, it does this and keeps the camera kind of behind you, which probably is enough to keep it because you just have to be able to survive long enough to keep the fish and it'll stay in your satchel. So go here. There's a dock. I'm not even going to pretend this was my first attempt. Uh, I died a ton trying to do this, but I did work out a pretty solid way to at least get this fish. Um, you got to back in. Um, you got to stay as far over to the right as you can and then pull it up almost exactly where I am. So you have to be in this exact position because if you're too far to the left, he won't get out on the left side because of those fishing pot cage things and he'll try and get on the right. You get killed. And if you're too far back, you can't move far away enough from the buggy to be able to cast without falling off the dock. But if you're too far forward, when you try to back up to the buggy, he'll retract the cast because you're too far from the shore, from the water. Um, so yeah, hop out, try not to get shot. Uh, this is kind of the method I use for that. Uh, equip the special river lure. Uh, you can actually equip any special lure because the legendary fish will bite any special lure. And plus he's the only fish in the pond. Um, and then when I do these little maneuvers where I try to, because you got to make your way to the back of the buggy, uh, I like to hit eagle eye and slow down time. And then I can, it gives me more time to react with the camera if I accidentally peek my head out or something. Um, so that's a trick. Also using photo mode is a good one. Um, to kind of see where you are and see where you need to go and s look at stuff that you can't normally see with the camera without getting shot. So once you get back here, you want to be kind of a little bit to the left of the oval. So a little to the left of the center of the buggy. And then you want to walk out uh, slowly. Try to get far enough away. If you try to cast before that, it'll give you this notification in the corner. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, that was close. Um... It'll give you a notification saying that there's something in the way. So you go just far enough that it'll let you cast. It's almost to the edge of the dock. Cast out. Uh, you want to cast out far 
because if you cast too close, the lure goes off to the right, unfortunately. Um, I hooked him pretty far out here. You actually want to hook him pretty close to the dock, as close as you can. So that way he doesn't have as much room to go right and left, which will make the camera go right and left, which will get you killed. Um, also, uh, just catch him the normal way. I think I tried to muscle it in and just reel in. Uh, that won't work on the legendary fish, even though it'll work on a lot of the smaller fish normally. Um, so unfortunately I had to try again. So I tried not to slow any of this down because uh, I want you guys to be able to see it in real time, how it actually goes, the whole process. So this is a little move I like to do uh, when the buggy gets stuck behind the camera to get it back in frame. It's a little dangerous, uh, but I don't like not being able to see where the buggy actually is. But I try and slow it down and do it in between sniper shots if I can. Okay, so now you back up before you grip the reel, the reel in. You back up to the buggy and then grip the reel, reel in. Um, I think again, I get nervous and I hook him a little too early. It wound up working, but you want to just let him nibble on it for a minute and then hook him when he actually gets close to the dock. Okay, now here's the important part. Once you catch him, you gotta be ready to switch to first person mode super quick. Ooh, that was a little late. And then start spamming keep, hit keep, 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 keep. All right. And then he'll put it in his satchel once he starts that animation, you're golden. And then you get shot and that's okay because it will still be in your satchel when you respawn um you'll keep the fish and that's it for that one you guys might be thinking hey why don't you just do it in first person the whole way and i try that uh, for some reason it just shoots through the buggy when you're in first person i think because the angle's a little lower and if you don't know the canvas part of the buggy is the only one that actually blocks bullets the wood part does not block bullets so if you have your camera too low when you're driving your buggy It'll shoot once and block it, and then it'll shoot again right through that hole, and it'll kill you. And that's why you can't use other things unless it's got a canvas cover like that. Yeah, I forgot to check my satchel in this video, but trust me, it's in there. Um, so now on to the big one. So when you catch a big fish, you get this animation. Yeah, so that one will get you shot every time because it's right in front of you. Um, and then it does this move where it kind of goes over your shoulder. Sometimes it goes over your left shoulder. Usually it goes over your right. I don't know why it does either one. But if you try to go to first person, still get this animation. Um, and, but I figured out a way around that. So sometimes when you do uh, the pickup animation, instead of it doing that little front of the camera animation, it does this move where he just bends down and picks it up, which is great. The camera stays. But then it still swivels over and goes over his shoulder. So worked out the hardest part but I have to figure out a way to block over the shoulder. Um, go here. This is the spot. Uh, legendary largemouth bass. So yeah, I got the buggy straight in, over the shoulder, boom. Dead. I was spamming keep, trying to see if maybe I had enough time. Didn't work. So what you got to do, if you haven't figured it out already, is kind of turn the buggy at an angle a little bit. Um, and then, same thing, cast out, back up to the buggy, and start fishing from there. And now you get to see what happens when you forget to back up to the buggy. You have nowhere near as much angle as you do when the fish goes right and left. Um, so this was a fail, even though I had the thing angled a little bit. Boom. Dead. Um, yeah. Try, I died a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, again, cast out. Sometimes even that gets you shot. I think the camera is a little bit to the right of the canvas. And the bullet just kind of grazed the buggy. Sometimes this happens. If you're a little too far over to the left, the fish will go too far to the right. The camera pans to the left. Dead. Um, feeling lucky about this one, though. Oh, pro tip. If you notice, there aren't any... Yeah, excuse me, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I guess he decided he's okay with that. You notice there aren't any cops roaming around? Um, if you enter New Austin without a wanted level, you let it go away first, and then you enter New Austin, you won't have any roaming cops. I figured that out, uh, and I've tested it a bunch, and it's it's true. So just keep that in mind, and lose your wanted level before you enter new. Oh, okay. So he decided that he did have a problem with it, and he wants to come fight about it. Um, so I gotta kill my friend here. Sorry, bud. Um, yeah, you can fight inside the buggies. Uh, you just kind of have to keep your camera a little to the left. Um, and not in the oval, because you'll get shot through that oval. Okay, so this is where you want to park. 
almost exactly where I am, almost exactly this angle. It's like 45-ish degrees from the shore, and you want to be just right here. That's the spot, and you want to be about this far away, too. And the reason for that, I forgot to say a second ago, is because in order to get that animation to skip, you have to be a little ways away from the water's edge when you catch the fish. Um, yeah, so pop photo mode, check out your surroundings. Uh, looks pretty good. I love photo mode for roaming New Austin. You can scout out areas um, without any danger of getting shot. Um, I definitely recommend it if you don't use it already. Uh, it looks pretty good. We're about 45-ish degrees. Um, oh yeah, so I apparently I picked up a little lucky bird along the way somewhere. A little scarlet tanager tagged along. So hopefully between my lucky bird and uh, my dead buddy over there that I sacrificed to the fish gods, uh, this will be a successful run. All right, so yeah, so back up away from the buggy. See, you have less angle here to cast. Uh, rethought that one. I think I was a little too far over to the right. Um, your buggy is, is narrower because you have it turned. So you have to make sure you're in the right spot. You kind of want to be center. You can use your pole for a little bit of orientation. Slow it down. Wait for a sniper shot just in case. And then crush fingers cast out all right that was good okay i cast way too far that time um maybe half that distance it'll come to you the fish will come to you but before you grip the reel you want to back up to your buggy make sure you do that because once you start casting once you start reeling in it's not going to let you move anymore and where you want to wind up is pretty much with your head right underneath the oval that'll give you enough room on the left uh, in case the camera goes that way, and enough on the right for when it pans over your shoulder. Now, if you notice, I'm letting him kind of nibble. I'm not hooking him right away. And there, try to hook him as close as you can to shore. This one's a lot more crucial because you have less room, you know, less wiggle room. A uh, little more than you, th you think, but it's tight. Um, and he's a big fish, and so he's more likely to go to the right and left as opposed to the smaller ones. Yeah, I think I start rethinking this because it looks it looks too tight, and this is the first time I actually caught him. Um, so what I do here is try to move after I've already caught him, and it doesn't work. Uh, you can't let go of the reel. You just it just stays where he is. I think if I would have actually moved a little further back, I might have canceled my cast anyway. So it's fine. Um, just aim for kind of the center of the oval. I'm slightly too far to the right. Okay, it's right here. I'm far enough away from the shore. Yeah, <laughs> another safety check in photo mode. Uh, over your right shoulder. It almost always goes over your right shoulder. Uh, we just kind of got to hope that that is enough. Yeah, I'm really second-guessing myself here. I don't actually pull him in when I should. I should just go for it. I mean, I can't do anything else about it. Okay, there we go. So, that, see, it's covering me on that animation. And then, this pans over. Ooh, pucker up. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> I get all crazy and, and reposition the camera. Okay, now you can exhale. You can calm down a bit. Uh, you have the fish in hand. Unfortunately, though... You can't save with the fish in hand because it won't keep your fish. You have to get it on the horse. And that's actually the trickiest part of this whole thing. I know this whole thing has been a bear this whole time. And I, honestly, uh, you know, that's why I say it's it's a lot of work. You'll die. Uh, it might not be worth it to do this, but I like the challenge personally. Um, so your horse is going to do what your horse is going to do. I can only kind of give you a guide of what I did. I'll sit here and whistle, whistle, hip, hip, come on. And he'll kind of slowly walk really frustratingly. I can't really get a whole lot further away without the buggy not blocking the sniper fire anymore. Honestly, I spent, I think, like 10 minutes doing this. I just skipped a bunch there because I was trying to get him inch by inch to get closer. And then finally he peeks his head right next to the buggy. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to settle for that. Um, but unfortunately, he is actually a little too close to the buggy. 
and I'm not able to fit in between him and the buggy. So you'll see me try here. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's not working. Try that for a while longer. Probably another five or six minutes uh, before I just give in and say, okay, I'm just going to have to go around the outside of the horse. It's not going to work this way. Um, and this is scary because you have to walk pretty far away from the buggy in order to be able to actually put it on the horse. If you get shot in this time, it kind of negates the whole trip. Okay, so I'm on the outside of the horse now. I'm behind him from our point of view. Um, or her, sorry. And switch to photo mode. You can kind of see that's way too far away. Um, once you start the animation to put it on the horse, you can, I'm not even getting the prompt. Okay, here I'm getting the prompt to actually put it on there. Once you start the animation to put it on the horse, you can't use eagle eye anymore. And so you have to real time adjust the camera. So I want to get as close as possible to the spot I'm going to stand when I actually stow it uh, before I actually try. So here goes nothing. Okay, and as soon as you see it says remove legendary large bass, hit save. Save your game. Save your game. Now you're saved. It's in your horse inventory. All you have to do actually is load that save and you're good. Um, you will reload outside of New Austin carrying your fish uh, on your horse and you can go to the post office and mail it. I knew that, um, but since it was the first time I did this, I wanted to be extra sure and get back on my buggy and take my horse with me back into Great Plains. Um, so that way, just in case the save load method didn't work, uh, I'd have extra insurance. But yeah, I was seen by the Pinkertons <laughs> uh, just before the border, which if you've ever tried to sneak back out of New Austin, this happens. And I, I've done it and I, I know it happens. I don't know why I thought it would be any different. Yeah, they lit me up. Uh, I didn't stand a chance. I tried to pop some health elixirs and just make a run for it. Yeah. Okay, so moment of truth. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in order for this to work, in order for your horse to follow you outside of New Austin, it has to be at one of your saddled main horses. It can't be a wild horse that you caught and tamed. Uh, so just be careful there because that one will stay in New Austin. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, finish your cigarette, Arthur. Don't worry, we got time. Yep, there it is on the back of my horse. Yes, definitely save. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's how you get it. That's how you get it out the quickest way. Um, like I said, people might come up with better ways to do this. This is the way that worked for me. Um, feel free to mess with it. Legendary Redfin Pickle right there. And if you can come up with something better, awesome. Uh, okay, get these sent out. Legendary Redfin Pickle. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. So, I don't know. It's screwed up here, and I start to panic and hit send a whole bunch. It didn't let me send the second fish. If that happens, I guess you just back out and wait a second, and it'll let you send mail again. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that is... Those were the first two fish that I caught in this playthrough, actually. Uh, so, in order to complete the whole thing, you have to catch all 13 fish and mail them into him. But the mission won't complete until you actually get the letter back from Jeremy Gill and go meet him in New Austin to do the cutscene thing. I don't think you can do that until the epilogue. So even if you do it this way or you do it the Angelo Bronte mission method, I think it's the same difference. You, you can't get the completion percentage for it. No, they are both hexed off. Bingo. Okay, so Legendary Rock Bass. So this one's in Tall Trees at the Aurora Basin. A lot of folks might not know this, but during this mission here, uh, we loved Once and True 3, where you rescue Mary's brother Jamie from the Chelonians. You can just take him down into Great Plains and Tall Trees and the Pickertons won't spawn instead of going to Valentine. He'll smoke cigars and fight people if you want. Um, he'll die easily, so just be careful. And sometimes your horse duplicates too which is weird, so I don't know. There's a free glitch for you if you can figure out why that works. Uh, if you've already done that mission, or if you're not in Chapter 2 anymore, this is kind of the way I recommend to do it. Uh, there's probably better ways online, but this was what worked for me. 
you cause some trouble outside of Great Plains and Tall Trees and get a cop to follow you into Great Plains Tall Trees, and the Pinkertons won't spawn as long as you have a cop from outside following you. And then once you lose your wanted level, just get on the dock, get ready to cast, boom, you can pull out your rod, and I mean you can use any special lore. You can probably use any lore, period, because it's all small fish in this lake. So the legendary fish will probably be the only one that bites at a lure because the rest of them bite at bait. Um, I don't know exactly how long it takes on average for the Pickertons to spawn. Maybe they'll spawn when you're sitting here fishing sometimes, but I went ahead and, um, there it is. Keep it. Yep. All right. That's all of them. I went ahead and hurried out of here. Um, and it seemed like it was plenty of time. And this was my first try at it, so I think this one's a pretty easy one. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this. Yeah, there they are, like clockwork. Lose them easily enough. Get out here, and there we go. It's in your satchel. It's ready to send off. And if you've caught all the other fish, and if you've caught the new Austin fish, then that is all of them. What's the matter with, you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you, partner? That's how you get off a horse, everyone knows that. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> anyway. Uh send this off. And then as you can see, thirteen of thirteen, caught and posted. I it should I mean, honestly it should give you credit, but it doesn't. Um it's kinda stupid that it doesn't. But it's something to do. It's a good challenge. I like to challenge myself with this sort of thing. And if you're like me, you know, go for it. It is a lot of work and it's hard and you'll die. And like I said, it might not even be worth it to try. And But if they patch the, the Bronte mission glitch or if, um, you know, you just want to stay in chapter two or three, like I said, then maybe this will work for you. Uh, anyway, um, I have a couple more videos I'm working on of other stuff you can do in chapter two. I figured out how to do the elemental trail map. And um, I was thinking about putting together a video of tips and tricks for like buggy travel and like uh, the carcass method down in New Austin because I've done it a lot and I've learned quite a few things there. Yeah, as you can see here, it says we'll continue at a later time. Um, and I also really want to get the Otis Miller chest looted before it's all said and done. And so if I wind up figuring that out, I'll definitely make a video about that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you have any problems with this, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and respond as quick as I can and help you get it sorted out. Come on, move already. <clears throat> Mister. That animal looks well kept, friend. Thanks. Well, how are you doing anyway? Anywho. Okay, well, all the best, I guess. And all the best to you guys as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck, guys.